that one is burned, and that one is burned. All those have to be replaced. All those resistors have to be replaced. And if you notice, it's red, green, and blue. Okay. The red, green, and blue refer, of course, to the three channels of color for convergence. Okay, I got it. And there's Solid the radiation like iron and... Beginning to uh, desolder here, it's not working really well, uh, in my opinion. It usually works better than this, but we'll continue on, see how it goes. Sometimes it helps to clean the iron. The tip might be a little oxidized. Not much help, but we'll we'll continue on with it. And you can add the information later, huh? I should. My share went right in there. Huh? It really does usually work better than this. I'm going to have to continue to troubleshoot this as we go here. See how it's 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 darker right there, and then you see I'm going to cut it off right there because it, that wasn't working. Okay, now I'm going to get back to this, and it was like that because that's where I had been handling it. I cut off the solder wick in an attempt to uh, still troubleshoot what's going on with the desolder operation. It's not working, it's not working quite the way it should, but we'll continue on.
I've noticed in the past that uh, wherever I've handled the solder wick, apparently the oil from my hands contaminates the flux or somehow removes it, so it doesn't seem to work as well after that. That's, that's why I cut uh, the piece off the end. It, it looked like it had been contaminated. Still trying to get all that solder off of those pins so they'll come free of the holes. Um, continue back and forth. Don't stay too long on one particular land because it'll it'll loosen it from the board and then you'll have a, a more serious repair problem. This is why it might be a good idea for uh, those who are not experienced in desoldering to obtain an old circuit board and uh, get, the, get the tools and the materials together and practice. Just so that when you're actually doing the board you don't have a, a more serious problem. You'll notice that I uh, changed positions with the solder wick and the iron, the tip of the iron, in order to try to get more heat to the joint uh, in, a, in a continuing effort to troubleshoot why it's not working as smoothly as it normally does. Okay. Well, that finally looks pretty good. Uh, they look like they're all free and centered up in the holes. All the solder's removed. I'll check them with this probe here. See how they all move. To see, if it's see how they're all loose. loose. In the hole. It's pretty usual to find these things stuck to the heatsink pretty tight, so I usually use a pair of dikes on the out, outside of them, as pictured here. See, it came, came out fairly well. A little stuck pin on the bottom, get that. Hold on. You'll see all the stuff on the 